Another important mode is saturation. So this would be when we have the uh, BJT operating as a closed switch. So in this case, we forward bias both the emitter base and collector base junction, uh, assuming that this is NPN. Well, actually, since they're both forward biased, this could be PNP as well. Um, but this uh, equation is only for the NPN. Okay, so our, our collector current equation uh, will look like this. So we, it, the first part of it is the same as uh, in forward active, but we have the second term because the collector base junction is now forward bias, and that's going to reduce the uh, collector current by a little bit as compared to forward active mode. Let's look at an example uh, um, of uh, the transistor operation. Okay, so we're given this BJT circuit. The emitter voltage is going to be negative 0.7 volts, and we uh, know that it's going to be in forward active mode. And if the uh, common emitter current gain parameter is 50 then let's find out what these uh, what all the uh, terminal currents are and what the voltage is at the collector okay so how do we figure this out well first of all let's solve for the emitter current equation I oh, sorry the emitter current because we can do this without knowing anything about BJTs. I know that this voltage is negative 0.7 volts. So just use Ohm's law. So the emitter current is going to be negative 0.7 volts. Subtract the voltage on the other side of the emitter resistor. So minus negative 10 volts and divide that by the value of the emitter resistance 10 kilo ohms and this comes out to 0.93 milliamps okay so we solve for the emitter current now let's solve for base current since I'm in forward active mode, I know that I can use this relationship to determine my base current uh, based on my emitter current. Okay, so this is 0.93 milliamps divided by beta, which is 50 plus 1, so divide by 51 and my base current is about 18 microamps. Now I can solve for the collector current and I'm going to use my Ford Active current relationship between collector current and emitter current. Alpha is equal to beta over beta plus one. And so my collector current is 0.91 milliamps. That makes sense from a KCL point of view because my collector current is, is a little bit less than my emitter current and then when I add my collector current and my base current it should be equal to my emitter current. Okay, last thing is going to be to solve for my collector voltage.
and then I can use Ohm's law again. My collector voltage is going to be the voltage of the positive supply, 10 volts, minus the voltage dropped across my collector resistance. So that's IC times RC. And plug in the value of IC. RC is 5 kilo ohms, and we'll get 5.45 volts.